Hello, this is Kevin with 3G Store, and today we're going to take a look at the one outlet and two outlet IP switches. We'll show you what makes them similar and what sets them apart, and help you pick which one is right for you. Each IP switch can automatically power cycle any device when internet connectivity is lost. This setup is extremely straightforward. You'll simply connect one end of the included ethernet cable into your router or modem, and then connect the other end into the IP switch. Instead of powering your device from the wall, you'll now plug its power supply directly into the switch. Now the switch will monitor your internet connection and reset the devices plugged into it when it's required. You can also prevent your internet connection from going dormant thanks to the ping feature, create automatic power schedules, and be manually controlled remotely. The two outlet switch has a built-in Google Talk and Google Hangouts feature where you can send the switch commands remotely. Sending the help option will give you a reply that shows you all of the commands you can send to the switch. Get status lets you know what the ping hosts are doing and you can also tell if outlets are on or off. Manually powering devices is accomplished by using the set on or set off command. You'll get a response from the switch when it's done. The one outlet switch may not have the Google Hangouts feature, but it does have an impressive mobile application that the two outlet does not have available. This is free for iOS and Android and you can use it to manually power on and off or reset any device that is attached to the single outlet switch. Almost every setting on the one outlet switch can be controlled through the application including the power schedules. You'll be able to select the time of day, day of week, and what action you want the outlet to perform very simply. This is the admin interface for the two outlet IP switch. You can see that you have some detailed information on your connection status, such as the ping host that the router is looking for to determine automatic resets. You also have manual control over each outlet, and you can turn the auto reset function on and off. There are schedules that you can set for power, and also advanced configurations where you can specify your ping host for external or internal hosts, and also set delays between the outlets as they power on and off. The single outlet IP switch interface is very basic by comparison. You still have the same information about your network, but in your settings you can't specify any ping host or internal devices on the network. You can also only set six schedules. Each switch includes a power supply and ethernet cable for connecting to your network. Also included is a mounting template for attaching to a wall. The two outlet switch lets you connect up to two devices. There are manual controls for powering on and off switches as well as the auto reset, and an ethernet and power plug. The single outlet allows you to plug into one device. There is a reset button for resetting app users and indicator lights. You also then have your ethernet and power connectors. So those are your options. You have the two outlet IP switch if you want more control, or the one outlet IP switch if you want an easy setup and simple remote administration through an application. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and for more information, visit 3gstore.com slash ipswitch.